Make your dreams come true this season. With the Infinity Q50 Engagement Winter Event. Right now, lease an all-new Infinity Q50 for $369 a month. Well, take a look at this. We've got a tower camera from I-95 South heading from Baltimore towards D.C. Now, you can see just how slowly those cars are going by because everyone has to take it easy as this wintry weather comes into play. You know, if you're home watching TV, you got to feel pretty good about yourself. You made the right choice today staying off the roads. You know, some people might not have a choice. But here's what's going to happen in Washington, D.C. as we start to head through today. We're going to see snow and sleet to start. It's going to change over, though, to that very dangerous freezing rain. We're looking at snow accumulation of 1 to 2 inches. Our storm con there, a 5 out of 10. As we get into tonight, this is when it kicks the danger up a notch as that freezing rain is going to be there, but then eventually it will change over to just rain, but still slick roads and limited visibility. And tomorrow it will be all rain. Our temperatures will get up into the 40s. That will help to melt anything that's been sticking around. Rainfall about a half of an inch. So we're going to go from better to worse and then better. you got to hang in there. So the colors that are the dangerous parts here on the map are the pink and the purple. The purple is where we start to see ice, the pink, that wintry mix, and the blue, that snow. And you can see it all rolling across snow in Baltimore, but there at I-95 where they were coming down that highway, they're coming into some icy conditions as well. So that's why we've got the storm cons out for Washington, D.C. at 5 out of 10 because of the snow, the ice, the sleep that's expected. Move a little inland, freezing rain and sleet in Roanoke, West, in Roanoke Virginia. So it's going to be a rough day today. Over to you, uh, Keith. Thanks, Carol. Let's take you to Nashville now where we have uh, not too much going on. It's rain there. It's good. It's cold rain, which is not great, 37 degrees. But there's some ice around, and that is our bigger concern for parts of the south here. Now, keep in mind, some of these spots saw a decent amount of ice from our last system. So it's not that this system is dropping a ton of ice. It's that it's some of the same areas. I have a friend that is a meteorologist in Memphis. They got pretty hard with ice. And look at the ice reports here for Dion here. Now, we have freezing rain. Again, the accretion amounts not as much as we saw with our last system, but it's just that we didn't really recover from this last one. Here's a live look at our radar picture into Kentucky here, and the uh, purple is generally freezing rain. So you have that shallow layer of cold air at the surface. It's freezing on contact. To the south, it is rain. To the north, it is light snow. So you're better off being on the snow side of this than the ice, uh, but again, not quite as heavy as far as the ice as our last system was. And here's some rain showers stretching down to the south, the warmer air taking over as you go to the south of the system. So Nashville, we're looking at just rain there, but it is chilly rain. So upper 30s, low 40s, and rain today. Morning showers tomorrow as the system moves out. Now we do have a brief shot of some ice on Tuesday, but this system, a little uh, weak disturbance behind it, doesn't have as much moisture, shouldn't be a huge deal there. Carla? All right, thank you, Keith.